welcome to my channel. Today I'm just doing an illustration of a mother and baby fox. I've been doing a little series on on baby animals just because here in Canada where I'm from um, spring is is in the air <laughs> um, so kind of inspired me to do a little little um, series on on uh, newborn baby animals so uh, yeah I always just uh, do the drawing like the sketch and then um, I I've been using references quite a bit I used to think that was kind of cheating but uh, definitely think every every artist uses references at least once in a while so I don't think that anymore for sure um, so yeah I just kind of make the make the sketch and then I always erase it because I'll do um, I'll outline it with a like I think this is a water-based liner pen <clears throat> and um, yeah so I, I don't like the pencil marks showing as much so this kind of helps to hide it a little better I can always erase it again afterwards but I just like it to be a little lighter so yeah here's just pretty straightforward um, outlining of the sketch I uh, really enjoy making these I've been making greeting cards for um, I would say probably about six months or so now maybe a bit longer and that's kind of what what this is on like the paper is just cardstock paper uh, so yeah I could turn it into a greeting card if I wanted <laughs> but yeah I've just been really enjoying the illustration process and just adding the color like yeah it's just really been fun for me it, like a nice little therapeutic thing I think most artists kind of do it for that reason <laughs> or it probably starts out that way but yeah so here I'm just adding some color I um, these are called a hoo a hoo a hoo -hoo. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm saying that right but yeah they're uh, alcohol based markers kind of like Copic markers but a bit of a cheaper um, cheaper brand so yeah I've been really enjoying using them they they layer really well and I mean you have to go a bit fast but they don't leave those marker lines like um, a lot of other brands of markers do so I really love that they definitely bleed bleed through the paper quite a bit so thicker paper is probably uh, a better idea um, but yeah super super nice markers very like bright and the Ahu um, brand they have a lot more like pastel colors I have a different brand as well I can't remember what it's called but for that one I had a lot more like dark or like um, yeah, just like darker colors, but yeah, I really like the pastel-y colors too. So yeah, definitely a lot of fun to use and, and, and they have two, um, ends. So this, the end I'm using here is, uh, the brush, the brush nib, but they also have just, um, like a tiny little, not tiny, but like a regular, like nib that you see on most markers and then uh, the other brand I have they also have like a chisel tip as well so yeah definitely a lot of different um, types of types of ends but I I love the brush the brush and the best I think it's just you can do thicker lines or like more detailed stuff so but yeah that kind of brings us to the end this is the final illustration it uh, I think it turned out pretty well um, but yeah let me know what you guys want to see more of thanks for watching